Thank you so much for the introduction and thank you everybody for being present. Um, my name is Andrea Koskai. I'm a junior student. Uh, I come from Romania and I study media communications and Chinese here at Bennington College. And this field work term was all about giving opportunities for a community of young women and future leaders. So I want to start out by presenting to you the um, youth organization that I started last year in April 2020. Um, Her Time Romania is a community of young women supporting each other towards leadership through networking. And so in almost one year of um, existence, we have reached almost 10,000 members across all social media platforms. Um, and we have nearly 50 ambassadors working for this project aged uh, 14 to 24. We offer bi-yearly week-long free webinars with professional and NGOs and other youth organizations, bilingual social media educational campaigns, collaborations with other NGOs and youth organizations, uh, international and local. An example of that would be an educational campaign that we have done with the UN at some point of last year. We do Instagram lives with professionals. And so what we're really trying to do is bring together young women um, so that they can network, learn from each other, but then also connect them with um, other professional women from uh, different domains. Uh, this fieldwork term, our purpose was to create a social entrepreneurship competition, our very first one. And this is uh, one of the first ideas that I got when I was thinking of starting her time. Um, that was one of my wishes to, to create this kind of opportunity. And so this is very important because um, what we're trying to provide to young women is opportunities that are accessible. So no matter if you have done entrepreneurial courses before, if you had access to um, some kind of special education in that sense, or no matter if your family is in business or isn't, then this is an opportunity for all young women aged 18 to 24 to take part and learn from professionals. The mentors that were involved in this are four business women really successful from Romania who are working nationally, but also internationally in tech, fitness, e-commerce um, and the beauty industry as well. They're in Forbes 30 under 30 and they volunteered essentially to take part in this, uh, in this competition and be mentored to these young women so that they could um, gain all this beneficial information. We had over 100 signups and in the end, 10 participants, three teams with the four mentors, five sessions in which they got to know each other, receive feedback and learn all about the business world. And then at the end, we have three social enterprise pitches. So you can see here a few pictures. This whole competition took place over Zoom. So it was accessible to all young women in Romania, of course, who had access to internet. Um, so from all, all parts of the country. Uh, I present to you the competition winner because this competition also came with um, a money prize of $500 offered by the, the sponsors. And so um, this group of uh, young women are going to work on an e-platform on informal education, which tackles professional and personal skills, such as personal branding or how to enter the, uh, the work market, which uh, we found to be very important, uh, especially in the Romanian context, because um, these kinds of extracurricular opportunities uh, are not necessarily accessible or available to everyone and that's not um, encouraged by the public educational system. So with this project, they're trying to fill some holes into, into that, uh, that kind of system and encourage initiative in young people. The lessons that I learned are um, all about challenges and time-sensitive problem solving. No matter how much you plan, there's always going to be some problems that um, turn out to, to happen and you have to find a quick way to solve it. I understood what the elements of a successful business pitch are um, and that there is a lack of such accessible opportunity for young women in the public education uh, system opportunities. A particular thing that stuck out to me was one of the participants saying that in two weeks, she learned more from her mentors than in two years from her business school. Um, so here's a few of our future plans because of time restraints, I won't go into all of it. Um, but we are going to show a report of the winning team uh, and what they have done with the prize money and where they are taking their project. 
This has also been a great influence on my academic plan with gender studies, media, and public action. And lastly, I wanna I wanna thank Bennington College. I wanna thank the sponsors, Susan Sorbody and Andy Galindo, my mentor for the Year Term, for all the support and all the guidance in this project and all the um, how much they believed in her time Romania from the time that it was just an idea in my head to today, almost a year later. I will leave some links below. And um, if you wanna collaborate or if you'd like to donate even a little bit, that would be of great help to us for future projects. So thank you so much.